about why I stayed, about the crisis my husband and I faced, because I felt it was a very important story that needed to be told. It was and is a human story about our weaknesses, about our faith, and about how God lovingly responds to each one of us. Now I've written Courageous Grace about what I learned as I lived that story. I learned more about our human condition that impacts all of us. Some of us suffer with debilitating illnesses and diseases, some with brain dysfunction, others with destructive behaviors and addictions. No matter what it is, we all deal with the fallibilities of our human condition, and that is what makes the gospel so meaningful for all of us. I've come to appreciate the fact that God is not shocked by our weaknesses or our human failings. Instead, He uses them as opportunities to show us His compassion and His mercy, His loving kindness and His forgiveness. We can do the same for one another. The opening line from my book reads, one of the greatest tests of a person's character is how they respond when someone else errs. We need to see this as our opportunity to do what God has done for us and to share His grace with them, to share compassion and forgiveness and mercy and loving kindness. I've also learned that the Bible says very little about church discipline or about us lording over one another, but it says a whole lot about reconciliation and about forgiveness and about us restoring a brother or sister who stumbles or gets trapped by a sin. Another person's sin is really our opportunity to demonstrate what we really believe about the gospel and to extend to another person the kind of grace that God has so courageously extended to us. It takes courage because it may compel us to step out of safe confines and suffer pain for the good of another human being. It may be costly to our lives, to our futures, to our reputations, but this is how we best represent Jesus. Many books have been written about God's amazing and courageous grace toward us, but few of these books mention the courage it takes for us to extend that same grace to one another. I've written Courageous Grace to inspire those who have received the liberating grace of God in their own lives to courageously and lovingly bestow that grace on others. This is how the world will know we are His disciples.